Welcome to Shorecrest. For the next 10 minutes, we invite you to learn about the origins of our school and to hear about the bright future we strive to develop for our students, their families, and the Shorecrest community. The Shorecrest Outdoor School first opened its doors in September 1923 on leased land in downtown St. Petersburg, a mere stone's throw from the bay. Although year-long enrollment was small, the number of students greatly increased when visitors from the northern states, fondly known as snowbirds, needed schooling for their children. In 1927, Emma Vinyl purchased the school and became headmistress, steering Shorecrest toward becoming a full-time educational institution. To support military families that were housed in the historic Vinoy Hotel during World War II, Shorecrest started a high school program. Mrs. Vinyl hired a new teacher, her daughter Carlene, who would eventually head Shorecrest School. The current library is named in Carlene Vinyl Haskell's honor. In 1966, the valuable waterfront property on which the school stood was sold. In order to continue operating, the Haskells were forced to go out in search of both land and funding. Their search led Carlene and her son Bruce to Bob Crisp, a local developer whose daughter had attended Shorecrest Outdoor School. Mr. Crisp agreed to donate six acres of undeveloped land on First Street North. Sophia Yai Daly, who had sold the land on which the school had originally stood, was eager to help. She agreed to finance the construction of a new campus. The newly renamed Shorecrest School was finished just in time for its kindergarten through grade eight students to arrive in the fall of 1967. At the urging of Shorecrest parents, Carlene and her son Bruce decided to add a high school in 1972. A board of trustees was appointed and Shorecrest became the nonprofit independent school that it is today. Bob Crisp and a group of parents provided Shorecrest with additional land and financial resources, allowing the school to build a gym and additional classrooms for the growing student population. The school was renamed the Shorecrest Preparatory School. A group of 40 students enrolled in the ninth grade under the leadership of the school's new headmaster, Bruce Vinyl Haskell. In 1976, this special group became Shorecrest's first graduating class since pre-war years. The school flourished under Bruce Haskell's leadership as he attracted outstanding faculty members who would establish a lifelong relationship with both the students and their families. Students earned recognition for outstanding achievement in academics, athletics, and theater. In 1985, after many years of dedication to his beloved school as a student, faculty member, and administrator, Bruce Haskell stepped down as headmaster. Jack Ordman took over the reins for four years and maintained the school's focus on academic excellence. A nationwide search was conducted to find Jack Ordman's replacement. However, the Board of Trustees found their next head of school right under their noses. Mary Hardin Booker had been part of the Shorecrest faculty since 1972 as a fifth grade teacher and the head of lower division. As head of school, she upheld the school's honored traditions while working with her faculty to refine the curriculum. During her tenure, the school grew quickly and added many new facilities, a new sports field and eight lane track the state-of-the-art Raymond Arts and Media Center, the grade five and six Schur Center, Riley Field, and the beautiful lower division building was added to the Morian Manning campus. Mary Booker named Janet Root, a volunteer who would later become a trustee as the chair of the new Arts and Humanities Department, which remains a hallmark program at Shorecrest. The early childhood center was created the school's outstanding college preparatory curriculum was taken to a new level with the expansion of the Advanced Placement Program. 
34 years after starting at Shorecrest, Mary Booker decided to retire in 2004. A search for a new head of school began and led the Board of Trustees to Michael A. Murphy, who at the time was head of Pace Academy in Atlanta. Mike Murphy arrived in 2005 and soon spearheaded a new strategic plan that proposed more upgrades to campus facilities as well as innovations to the curriculum. The board launched capital campaigns to build the Upper Division Academic Center, Landy Hall, and to renovate the Science and Technology Building. The board then led a campaign to build the Middle Division Arts and Science Center and followed with an exciting campaign to replace the original crisp gym with a state-of-the-art athletic center. Faculty and administration developed the Learning Center to support students and parents. The service learning program enhanced opportunities for students to become active leaders with other nonprofits in the Tampa Bay region. The school community rallies each year to host Relay for Life for the American Cancer Society and a holiday gift drive for over 300 children in the Guardian Ad Litem program. The faculty continues to expand the curriculum and extracurricular activities to ensure students have opportunities to prepare them for university life and beyond. The expansion of electives, blended and online courses, and international experiences are making study more exciting and relevant than ever before. Every student is encouraged to participate in the athletics and arts programs, and many have significant roles in both. Today, Shorecrest is renowned and highly respected for the outstanding academic programs offered to 1,000 students in pre-kindergarten age 3 through 12th grade. Graduates attend universities around the U.S. and often around the world. Vision 2015, the current strategic plan, has focused the faculty, students, and board on expanding the diversity of the community, providing online and blended learning opportunities, developing a project-based approach to learning, and increasing opportunities for global studies and international experiences. As the Shorecrest community celebrates the 90th anniversary of the school, beginning in the 2012-2013 school year, we can give thanks to all who built the solid foundation on which the school stands. During its first 90 years, Shorecrest became a recognized institution in St. Petersburg and Tampa Bay. During the next 90 years, we plan to have the school connected and respected worldwide. The race to 100 is on. We're excited as we look to a bright future for our students and our school.